Wolverine, at least Wolverine from the main 616 universe of the comics, real name James Logan Howlett, is a 5 foot 3 inches mutant and- Wait, 5 foot 3 inches? Really? Wow. A 5 foot 3 inches mutant and core member of the X-Men. Born in Canada, which no Canadian fan will ever let you forget, in the 1880s, James Howlett's mutant abilities include his accelerated healing factor, enhanced physical abilities, retractable bone claws, and enhanced senses. You know what? Check this out. What if it's a man with a few dog-like qualities, like a uh, heightened sense of smell? <sighs> Jesus Christ, or Charlie. Licking, not, there's no. Wait, 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 wait a second. A heightened sense of smell? What if he can smell crime? Wolverine is probably the most famous member of the X-Men, as well as the archetypal anti-hero in comic books. But how does he stack up in terms of power? We'll rank him with a grade of 1 to 7 in 6 attributes to answer the question, how powerful is Wolverine really? Wolverine has consistently displayed impressive feats of strength. He's torn through metal restraints. Loads of times, actually, he freaking loves doing that. He's easily sent grown men flying through the air, backhanded Spider-Man hard enough to smash him through a door, knocked out or killed men in a single punch, and even snapped a dinosaur's neck. But this is low-end stuff. Some higher-end feats include kicking a rock hard enough to shatter on impact, using an enormous wooden pillar as a club, punching off a sentinel's head with enough force to send it flying into a wall, throwing a motorcycle hard enough to break someone's back, throwing a dumpster high in the air and accurately like it was nothing, and even catching and holding an elevator with two people inside it. He's also body slammed the thing through a wall and chucked the 500 pound colossus into Juggernaut with enough force to knock him over. Ah yes, the power of teamwork. Obviously his strength has limits. He's often shown to be equal in power to superheroes like Captain America or Daredevil. Wolverine's speed is underrated, but comic book Wolvie has some surprising speed and reflex chops. He's dodged attacks from Spider-Man multiple times, dodged attacks from Venom, dodged nukes automatic fire, dodged gunfire from point blank range with a backflip, dodged automatic fire while running straight at the shooter, dodged gunfire fast enough that he seems to have simply disappeared, and can strike so fast the enemy can't register what happened. He's done this multiple times to disarm enemies who don't even realize their guns have been destroyed. <laughs> He's also managed to keep pace with Spider-Man moving across a city. On the other side though, he's also tagged by opponents and attacks that really aren't all that fast. But it's worth taking into account that sometimes Wolverine doesn't dodge attacks he could have dodged because he's a masochistic, crazy person who uses pain to hype him up into a berserker rage. Wolverine's most famous power is his regeneration. He's shown to be able to take unbelievable amounts of punishment and keep breathing. Many times he's taken blows from powerhouses like Sasquatch, Hulk, Thor, Hulk, 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 Namor, and even on one occasion, the Hulk. Oh, and there was the time he fought the Hulk as well. He's also survived a nuke, having his heart exploded from the inside, and operated just fine in temperatures so cold they could freeze a human body in seconds. Gunfire won't stop him, nor will being impaled, most poisons are useless, and he's even built up psychic defenses capable of resisting Emma Frost's telepathic commands. However, he's not indestructible. He said himself he could die from metal poisoning, decapitation with the right type of sword could also do it, being completely incinerated could do it, and he's got nothing to stop reality warpers from simply unaliving him at their will. Despite the telepathic resistance, he's also often brainwashed and his healing factor can be overloaded if enough damage is done in a short enough time.
Wolverine isn't a genius, but he's not exactly eating Tide Pods and campaigning against vaccines either. He's got a great deal of historical knowledge and wisdom on account of being alive for nearly 200 years, and he's a genius when it comes to murdering things. Even in total berserker rage, his mental performance was comparable to an Olympic gymnast doing a gold medal routine while simultaneously beating four chess supercomputers. And also in relation to Wolverine's mental abilities, his mind and body act entirely as one, meaning telepaths who usually counter in fights by reading their opponent's moves can't read Wolverine in combat. He also speaks multiple languages and is an unparalleled strategist, survivalist, and tracker. What if he smells crying? Let me just stop it right here. He, he's not got any. Next. Wolverine is an underrated hand-to-hand -hand fighter. In fact, he's a freaking monster hand-to-hand. -hand. He's a master of pretty much every known martial art, been trained as a soldier, a CIA operative, a samurai, a spy, and a member of the X-Men. He's learned from gods, aliens, animals, and mutants. He's usually aware of dozens, if not hundreds of ways to take down an opponent in any given combat situation. He's also fully capable of maiming and crippling opponents without killing them, devastating enemies with nerve and pressure point attacks, and is renowned throughout the universe for his combat virtuosity. He is a self-described warrior by birth. He's held his own against the Grey Hulk, Namor, Venom, Shang-Chi, coming soon to an MCU near you, and Black Panther, among many, many others. Now we should probably talk about the Adamantium. <sighs> Look, I'm not going to go into too much detail because Adamantium probably deserves a video of its own, but very briefly. His claws have pierced incredibly durable foes such as Thanos, Hulk, and Thor, and the adamantium on his bones has allowed him to take incredible hits from powerhouses like Thor without his healing factor and have no skeletal damage. And his skeleton usually remains intact, even when his skin and tissue are blasted away. So that's a rundown of what he's capable of, let's take a look at the rankings. I feel like this is as good a time as any to point out that these categories come from Marvel's own system of categorizing superheroes. If you want any more information on what each position in the scale actually means, I'll leave a comment down below with a full list of each rank and its criteria. Strength comes in at a pretty obvious 4, seeing as how casually he throws around weights up to and exceeding 1000 pounds. Pretty simple. Speed feels highballing to give it a 3, so I'll have to go with 2, but some of his ghosting and faster than I feats put him at a high level 2. Plus, keeping up with Spider-Man across the city is a pretty impressive feat. Intelligence, 2. On a scale from Patrick Starr to Yoda, he's a comfortable Ron Weasley. Durability is the part where me and the big brains at Marvel Comics aggressively disagree with Wolverine's ranking. They have him at 4, suggesting regenerative abilities, but that's the tier below Bulletproof and when World War Hulk admits he can't kill you, you're more than a notch above Bulletproof. If you count durability as how hard is this person to kill, which I do, I'd put Wolverine at rank 6. The only thing holding him back from 7 is some inconsistent feats regarding telepathic resistance and being nothing more than a fly to be smushed by any semi-competent reality warper. Energy projection 1. Although I'd bump this up to a 2 if badass quips counted as energy, but after consulting a physicist, it turns out that they do not. Fighting skills is a big fat 7. Wolverine has mastered pretty much every fighting style invented and had two centuries to hone them. He's taken on and won against the greatest hand-to-hand -hand fighters in the Marvel Universe and complements his incredible skill with his healing factor, claws, super strength and super speed. Honestly, I'd hear you out if you wanted to argue Wolverine was the best hand-to-hand -hand fighter in Marvel Comics. I wouldn't agree, but I wouldn't push a plate of spaghetti in your face either. You know, considering Wolverine's lofty status is arguably the second most popular Marvel character of all time, I think he's done well across his history in maintaining the key characteristics that make him who he is. Sure, his popularity has bumped him up a little in power level over the years, but as talented as Marvel Comics are at ruining characters, they've done a pretty good job at maintaining Wolverine's relevance from his Vietnam-era inspired roots through to today. His catchphrase remains true. He's the best at what he does. But what he does isn't very nice.
So I'll probably do a power grid episode on the Fox Wolverine eventually, um, assuming people want one. But I'll give it at least a few months just to break things up. Comment on this video a character you want me to do a video on next. It doesn't have to be a comic book character, it just so happens that the first few videos I've done have been comic book related, but they could be from anywhere you'd like. The most requested character or the most liked comment will get a video for certain. On screen right now there will be a list of names and communities who helped with putting this together. It would have taken far longer and been far worse without their help. That's basically everything. Leave this video a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and check out the previous Power Grid episode on Captain America from the MCU. I'll see you next week with a brand new episode.